what is up everybody welcome to my channel so first let's um, start with a little, um, little introduction about how I decided to make this video basically I know a computer pretty well and I just opened my task manager and I noticed something was taking a big amount of uh, processing power so as you can see this uh, VT application was taking about 55% of my CPU and whenever I tried ending it, it would appear again. So that kind of started bugging me off because I didn't have the problem uh, the day before that. So what do I do then if I cannot end this task? Then I went to the startup uh, category and I tried to find if it's some kind of application that starts itself every time I boot my computer, but I couldn't find it there. And after that, I try to use my uh, third-party uninstaller called Revo, and it wouldn't appear there as well. So that was definitely not an application that was uh, booting itself without my permission. That is when I thought it must be something more sinister, like a virus or a malware. Now that I opened the file location, and apparently it was located into my Windows folder and into the Updata subfolder. Running the executables didn't do anything, it just gave me a blank screen of the CMD and then just shut itself. And at that moment I was pretty sure it was some kind of malware running in the background without my permission. If you right click the task manager instance and then go to uh, search online, it kind of gives you uh, results about what kind of application is that's running. And I just digged around a little bit and apparently WDF.exe appears to be some kind of ransomware, some kind of crypto virus, malware thing that's running in the background and is using your CPU of, of the computer system in order to mine cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Monero. Actually, WDF.exe print tends to be some kind of Windows desktop firewall thing, but it's nothing like that and may actually use over 90% of your CPU, therefore slowing down your computer's performance. So how do you fall victim of the WDF.exe virus then? Usually by opening a fake setup, key generator, software license activator or any other type of file disguised as a legitimate file. Immediately after realizing this is a malware, I went to Malwarebytes website and downloaded a free copy of their scanning tool, which I will highly recommend as your go-to scanner for any type of malware, as it is free and it's always detected uh, threads on my computer whenever I've used it. The installation process is pretty easy, you just download the exe setup file and you go through the installation process and as you can see it's pretty quick. I think it takes about 118 megabytes of uh, space to install. So once we've opened the malware application, if we go to the settings tab, then we can just make sure we are doing an in-depth scan uh, once we actually do the scanning. Okay, everything appears to be set now. And there is three modes of uh, scanning. The recommended is the first one, which is the more in-depth type, but because I know where exactly my threads are, I will do a custom scan to speed up the process. Of course I will do a full scan after that to make sure my computer is free of any threads and malware. And uh, there we go, Malwarebytes has found four threads into the very same folder I did the scan into and it appears to be that wdf.exe application that was running in the background we add it to the quarantine and we start the computer as it is asked clicking yes now after we've uh, come back from the boot up uh, we can see the scan report and the files have been deleted and quarantined. And the task manager appears to be displaying my normal CPU usage I usually have. Uh, you can see I am recording with OBS, so that's taking about 
3-4% of my CPU and everything seems pretty normal. So that is folks for this video. I hope it has been useful to you. And if you see any unusual um, background applications running on your task manager, please do not let them run because it might be some kind of uh, ransomware, malware, some kind of keylogger, and your computer security could be seriously compromised.